welcome back. I thought of making this video because one of my subscribers actually asked me a question which one I prefer. The Fendi Picaboo Mini Celeria or Celeria or Louis Vuitton Capricins BB. Since the two bags are very comparable with each other, size, shape, style, material, what fits inside as well as price and of course which one I recommend. So let's start with some matchups first. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you won't miss out all the videos I upload. I'm into luxury, fashion, and lifestyle. So here is the Louis Vuitton Capricins BB in the color galley, gold hardware, interior leather. This was purchased two years ago. And this is the Fendi Peekaboo Mini Celeria in the color black. It is in Koyo Romano leather with palladium hardware. And this was a recent purchase. If you haven't seen the unboxing video, I'm going to put the link somewhere up here so you can check it out. Now, on the inside, it has a combination of black and brown leather. But this one's kind of suede leather and there is a metal uh, separator which is kind of stiff um, holding the leather that divides the compartment. So you can also see that there's a zip pocket right here and a slip pocket in here and the metal plate that engraves the date, the serial number, and the country where it's made from. So this one is made in Italy. So like the peekaboo, this has two uh, separate compartments as well. It has a flap that you can close like so. Or you can do this if you don't want to see the LB logo it has a clasp for added protection as well so you can close this and attach it let me do it first before I show you there you go this is just for added protection, you know, but I don't uh, use it because it's very hard to attach and detach the hook. So I just close my bag like this. I still have a bag organizer. <laughs> Let me just remove it. So this is the interior, it's a uh, all leather bag, so the color is 
chocolate brown and there's a zip pocket at the back this one and no other packets inside I love the detailings of this bag especially the rings right here where the handle is mounted so this one is a bit heavier than the peekaboo because I don't know maybe because it's a bit bulkier so side by side I believe that both bags are durable and structured because of the type of leather they're made of uh, pebbled grain. As you can see, the Fendi Mini Picaboo Celeria is hand stitch. You can see the exposed stitches around the bag's uh, edges, including the strap. It's also hand stitch. And on the handle. So, both bags have adjustable and detachable straps. They're both top handle with four feet and all leather bags. You can see that they both look like triangular in shape, so very similar. So, like I mentioned, this Fendi Picaboo Mini Celeria is made in Italy, while the Louis Vuitton Capucins BB is made in France. So let's see how much these bags fit. Um, note, however, that I do not fill both bags with essentials up to the brim, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do that. So these are the things that I'm going to put inside uh, each bag. And let's start with the mini peekaboo. This is my Chanel wallet. By the way, my six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton. My Rectoverso again from Louis Vuitton. And the Hermes Bastia for my coins. Uh, maybe we just have to rearrange it. Let's put the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton again. My favorite uh, SLG. So. You can see that everything fits and let's pretend that this has a cell phone it's only my cover because i'm using it for filming right now and my reading glasses so let's try to close it actually there's still room plenty of uh, spaces so can we close this I believe so yeah so there you go it can fit and like I mentioned there are still plenty of rooms now let's transfer all of this to the Louis Vuitton Capucins BB We can also put this, uh, it's a compact powder from Chanel. Alright, so there you go. And you can put more stuff inside because there's still a space left. And that's it my thoughts and opinions about these bags both bags do not hold their value as much as others like Hermes or Chanel but are worth buying I believe if you really love them 
the hold its value notion matters only when you intend or to possibly uh, might sell it for me if it's your bag to keep it doesn't matter what a resale value is you know however if you are on a budget but would like to own one you can buy it in the pre-love market they really are stunning bags and i highly recommend adding them to your collection they're very classic iconic and timeless pieces that you can pass down to your children which fendi and louis vuitton's creative directors have in mind to create something that were heritage pieces so that's pretty much it i hope you find this helpful and let me know how you feel about these bags through the comment section down below thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate you i'll see you in my next one